I'm pleased, uh, very pleased to welcome you, uh, State Councilor and Foreign Minister Chin Gang to Manila in our first face-to-face uh, -face meeting uh, to continue the momentum of strengthening the relationship between our two countries. We meet uh, coming from a strong beginning this year with the successful state visit of President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. to China. And I continue to believe that uh, this year bodes well for Philippine-China relations. We have started to implement the consensus of our presidents by immediately following the visit of the president with back-to-back -back, uh, meetings, uh, the 23rd foreign ministry consultations and the 7th bilateral consultation mechanism uh, on the South China Sea uh, just a month ago. And we note China's readiness to host the 8th uh, bilateral consultation mechanism in China uh, later this year. Already there have been significant developments since those last meetings demonstrating not only the vibrancy but the depth and the breadth of our relations. There is of course much work that needs to be done especially as we look forward to prepare and celebrate the 50th anniversary of Philippine-China uh, diplomatic relations in 2025. Together, let us endeavor to elevate our bilateral relations to even greater heights under the administration of President Marcos, who shared the commitment with President Xi to do everything possible to ensure that Philippine-China relations will continue uh, the positive trajectory of our relations, uh, which was elevated to a comprehensive strategic cooperation since 2018. Our leaders have agreed that our differences in the West Philippine Sea are not the sum total of our relations. These differences should not prevent us from seeking ways of managing them effectively, especially with respect to the enjoyment of rights of Filipinos, especially fishermen or fisher folk whose livelihood and general well-being uh, are determined by are undermined by incidents and uh, actions in the West Philippine Sea. China has remained the Philippines' top trading partner over the past few years, even amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. I intend to work closely with Your Excellency in further strengthening these economic ties, starting with the further diversification of our economic relations and closing of the trade gap between our two economies. And I was pleased to learn that the investment pledges worth $22.8 US billion made during the state visit are slowly being realized. Our cooperation on agriculture, infrastructure development, energy, and science and technology are important elements of our bilateral economic ties. The revival of tourism, resumption of flights, and the exchanges of students, teachers, and workers will further strengthen our people-to-people -people linkages. These would all support the Philippines' eight-point economic agenda to uh, improve the lives of Filipinos and likewise benefit uh, our, our friends from China. I hope that today's meeting will give us an opportunity to follow through on the plans and gains made for our, for our country's recent high-level interactions and make some headway in addressing common issues and challenges. So once again, welcome, Mr. Minister. Thank you. Arsuton 共同为
，特别是在二零一八年双方建立战略伙伴关系的时候，那进一步推进。两国元首达成了共识，认为海上问题不是双边关注，不，我们要寻找有效管控分歧的方法，特别是关于菲律宾渔民的一些问题，处理好海上。关影响渔民生活的事件。那么，中方一直是是菲律宾多年来的第一大贸易伙伴，便是在疫情期间也保持了这个。我愿同中方密切合作，推进双边的经济关系发展。首先是实现我们经济关系的多样化，弥合我们双方的贸易利差。我们也为也正在朝着二百二十八亿元的这样一个。呃，投资额的这样的一个目标迈进。另外，我们在农业、基础设施、能源和科技领域的合作，都是双方经济关系的重要方面。我们恢复旅游合作、直直航、互派留学生和教师，也加强了双边的人联系，也支持着菲律宾国内发展经济发展规划，改善菲律宾人民的民生，也为中国人民带来了更多福。我期待着今天的会谈能够推动进一步落实今年高层交往所达成的重要共识，并并推动双方在解决共同的问题和挑战方面取得更大进展。再一次欢迎您，各位。高兴，高兴，见阿罗外长的高兴。接待我，对维护发展，中非是一代世人，传统友好。当前，国际地区辩论,论交织，中非关系保持健康稳。发展不仅符合人民的心，也符合地区国家共同的。今年一月，马克思总统对中国进行了习近平主席他会晤，并达成为新时期中非关系发展谱画了蓝。中方愿同北方一道，把两国元首的共识做到实。把稳中非大方向，维护和关系的大局，增续传统友谊，深化本着重信守诺、协商对话的心，国处分歧，为两国和两国人民带来。为地区、全球的和平稳定注入更多的正能量。中 ，I am very pleased to visit the Philippines at the kind invitation of Foreign Secretary Manalo, and I thank the Filipino side for taking time from the holiday to receive us. This can is ample evidence of the great importance both sides attach to the maintenance and the, and and further enhancement. Of our bilateral relations, China and the Philippines are close neighbors across the sea. We enjoy a millennial-old tradition of friendship. Amid the fluid and turbulent international and regional situations, a healthy and stable China-Philippine relationship is not only meeting the aspiration of our two people, but also in line with the common aspiration of regional countries. In January this year, President Marcos paid a state visit to China. President Xi Jinping held talks with and reached important consensus, drawing up a blueprint for the development of China-Philippine relations in the new era. China is ready to work with the Philippines to truly implement the consensus between the presidents of our two countries, keep with the direction of friendship between our two countries, jointly uphold the larger picture of our bilateral. 
we need to work together to uh, continue our friendship, deepen mutually beneficial cooperation, and properly resolve our differences in the, in the spirit of credibility, consultation, and dialogue, and keep our promises to each other so as to bring more benefits to our two countries and two people and inject greater positive energy to the peace and stability of this region and even the whole world.